The long play, mindset number two, the long play is for impact and immortality. Impact and immortality. Ooh. You may not be so attached to the word immortality. I don't care if I'm immortal or not, but I do care that the light I have found in this lifetime is passed on for those who have ears to hear it. Um, when I got into real estate at 24, I um, found Jim Rohn, love Jim Rohn, um, had a cassette tape of Jim Rohn, played him in my car for two years because the, the cassette got stuck and loved it, loved it. Jim Rohn died a couple of years ago, several years ago. But every now and then there's still a post that comes in my newsfeed from Jim Rohn, right? Like Jim, Jim Rohn is posting from the dead, like beyond the grave, Jim Rohn is still posting content. How is this possible? <laughs> uh, I saw a post for Zig Ziglar the other day. Zig Ziglar's dead, right? Uh, Napoleon Hill's dead. Like Napoleon Hill died like a hundred years ago or something. And his book is still a, a widely read book. When you capture your content and you share it with the world through different mediums and formats, that work lives on. How many, how many lives has um, Think and Grow Rich impacted? Um, we want to put our, we want to share our content in platforms that aren't just newspapers and get buried over time. We want to put them in places where the work becomes immortal. The work lives on in perpetuity. So this is like YouTube. YouTube is not a newsfeed. YouTube is like a library. When you go to a, when my kids go to a library to find a book, they go to the computer and they type in a title and then the library tells them where that title is in the, in the building. When people go to YouTube, how most people behave on YouTube is they go and they search for stuff like a library. Where is information on healing? Where is information on trauma? Where is information on empowerment? People search this on platforms like YouTube and podcasts. Podcasts are also like libraries. They, they are evergreen. The content lives there in perpetuity and people will search for it there. So when you share your content to places like YouTube and uh, podcast directories, it keeps your work intact and easy to find for those searching for it, which creates impact and immortality for the life lessons that were given to you. That's mindset number two. And the reason I give it as a mindset, right, is because we're thinking about, ah, there's a reason to be in both news feeds and libraries, right? Newspapers and libraries. We want to be in both. We want, but I don't want to create, by the way, I don't want to create separate content for both. I don't want to create more content than I have to. I want to create it one time and I want it to be shared where it needs to be shared. So this is mindset number two, the long play. And, and it's also in here, the long play, because I want you to think about this work being available for people years from now and being a resource and valuable. 